Hello YouTube, this is my Sony Vegas tutorial for lighting effects. Now again, I'm going to say it before I start this tutorial. This is all Andrew Kramer's idea. He used it for After Effects. I'm just using it for Sony Vegas. You know, for those of you who don't have After Effects. He's on videocopilot.net, Andrew Kramer's idea. Alright, just saying the facts straight. Now for this tutorial, just like Andrew Kramer, we're going to be working on the lighting for uh, muzzle flashes. Alright, so like for instance, if you fire a gun, some of the areas should be lighted up. And that is exactly what we're going to accomplish. Now, as you can see here, I also have my, uh, shall we say, muzzle flash little effect on here. I'm just going to quick play around with the settings, move it around the right place. This uh, tutorial kind of ties in with my um, blowback effect tutorials. You or uh, yeah, you, <laughs> sorry you do making me a little nervous, but you can see the blowback effect right here, and the gun firing right at the slide, just at the right place. So with the effect, it would you know look like that, just how it's meant to be. However, in order for us to do this, uh, we'll have to render the video first. Now again, this is if you uh, this is if you just did the blowback tutorial. All right. Uh, so if you did the blowback tutorial, you know, add your own muzzle flash, however you like it. And once you've done that, go to File, Render As, save it as whatever you want. I'm just doing random letters or whatever. Um, you know, make sure it's really good, you know, quality and all that, and of course, save it. Now, of course, if you already have your video with your, you know, muzzle flash and everything, you can just skip this part. I'm gonna, you know, skip this so you don't have to see my video render, and that'll just take too much time. Alrighty, now that the video is done rendering. Uh, you can just delete all these video tracks because you're not going to need them. Again, this is if you're following up from the blowback effect tutorial. If you already have your own video, again, you can just skip this and open like a new project or something. But anywho, so, you know, delete everything, all the video tracks or whatnot, um, and then import uh, your recently rendered video. Obviously, mine is just going to be complete durish, so won't be hard f to find mine. Here we go. Open that. Place it in. And here's the video. Just like how it was. Sorry, my computer is freezing up because of the screen recorder and stuff, but it shouldn't anymore. So and yeah. here's the video and stuff um, with the effect blowback and muzzle flash. So now we have to get the lighting, just like the tutorial says. So to do this, copy the video, insert a new video track, and paste the new video in. Now we don't need the audio, so if you right click, go to group, clear, and just select the audio. You can delete it, delete that track, and put this right on top. Now, we only need it to be uh, an effect for one frame, because that's where the uh, you know, flash is. So we just drag this down, drag it down, here I'll zoom in, and like I said, only make it one frame long. Now what we have to do is go to the event pan and crop tool. Okay, what you want to do is tick the mask and select the places or make a mask where it would be lighted. For instance, I know uh, my face would definitely get a little lighter, so I'll just make a little mask around it. Again, this is 
Andrew Kramer's idea. So, you know, all his. Click on that one. By the way, for the feather type, make sure there is a uh, slight feather. Actually, just make sure there's a pretty big feather or something. Just wanted to kind of cover the face and all that. Then make a new mask where it would also be. For instance, around the muzzle and stuff. Again, feather it to your liking. I try to keep it not too low but not too high. Um, hands would probably be a good spot. Feather it, you know. And probably some of my arm. I mean, you can always feather it to your liking, so. You know, we can always change it. Alright, once you have done that, okay, you can just click out of this, go to Video Effects, click on Levels, and drag Brighten onto this top video. Now, as you can see, it's just a little more lighter. However, it's still not perfect. Now, on Studio RGB to Computer RGB, I don't know if uh, this is in Sony Vegas Pro or normal or whatever. But uh, if you have it, good. If not, I guess try to find a different thing like computer RGB. Anyways, drag this onto the top video. Bring the input start all the way down. And just kind of play around with the settings. Make sure the input end. Uh, bring that down too. But of course, not by too much. For the output end, um, keep that at you know one, and kind of bring the gamma down a little, and just you know keep making more masks and stuff for uh, how you want it or whatever. Because now when we look, going frame by frame here, lights just like you know a real gun would. So if we play it. I don't know if you could see that because of my screen recorder, but completely lights the face. All right, thanks for watching my tutorial. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and.